can certainly tell this suspension is 35 years old. That's one thing the Japs couldn't quite work out, was it, in the early days, in the 60s, 70s, probably through to the 80s, then it got better. Whereas the Italians and the British, their bikes could handle, you know. It's like the classic uh, 1967 TT relevant because the TT's on now, but um, with Mike Aylward and Agostini, you know, the, the Honda had the power, but it handled like a barge, whereas the MV was uh, very precise but didn't quite have the power, but, so they were quite evenly matched, but I'd imagine Agostini had a better time of it than uh, poor old Mike fighting it around all these bends, but uh, yeah, the Japanese have come on now, uh, I don't suppose there's much that can handle better than a, a Japanese bike, I suppose, Ducati and, and the Augusta, I suppose, but I mean, they're small manufacturers compared to the big ones. <laughs> Yes, I always think, probably like you guys, oh, you know, when I win the lottery, if I win the lottery, well, I hardly ever do the lottery, so I'm never going to win it, but if I did, what would your perfect uh, house be? I'm, I'm asking the question because I know what mine would be, honestly, and as you can't answer me while I'm doing this, I should tell you. I'd be happy to live in one of those big barn things, you know. Like a big metal shed, like you see. Uh, and I'll obviously live in the mezzanine bit. And instead of looking out at, well, I'd be nice if it was here, looking out over this countryside, but instead of looking out over there, I'd look over my mezzanine. Hello. And uh, look at all my collection of motorbikes that I have. And that, I think, would give me probably as much pleasure. Well, probably definitely give me more, much pleasure than looking at the scenery. I like the scenery too, but uh, it's not mine, is it? It's just, it's just there. Right, community speed watch. That means to be the local village idiots out with their little speed guns, pretending they're CID. Trying to catch speeding motorists. I mean, I just don't get it. I mean, I don't speed through villages. And I try and stick to 30 in the 30. I know I got caught up in speed into the year, but I was coming down from 40 from the 40 limit. I was slowing and I was only doing, I don't know, 35 or something. And they were on the sign basically another 10 meters and i'd have been the right speed so they knew exactly what they were doing anyway i digress um yeah i mean you know get targeted get prosecuted doing a mile or two over the limit and the fines more than these scummy bike thieves who carry hammers and knives and Where, where's protection of the innocent gone, you know what I mean? Everything's loaded against the innocent person, so when they do anything, because maybe they have got money or a job, they get the book thrown at them, where the scummies are on social benefits. Nothing at all. Slap on the wrist, pay a fine which we have to bloody pay. Yeah, my local road, as I mentioned, I think Sue's mentioned as well. Uh, it's a 60. We're obviously 30 through the villagers, but the rest of the road is 60. They're going to put average speed cameras up and drop the speed to 50. They seem to be doing this everywhere, dropping the national speed limit to 50 on country lanes. Why? They're putting average speed cameras up. Why? Yeah, why? It's control again, isn't it? Control and money.
Não tem 